house. So I hope you guys all had a really great Easter weekend or corn teaster as my family was calling it. We had a great weekend. We watched First Christian Online. I got candy. We did an egg hunt indoors. I got candy. It was great. But I wanted to talk to you today because I have noticed something about quarantine life. I'm a noticer. And the thing that I've noticed is that I've been feeling a lot of different things lately and sometimes I don't even understand why I'm feeling them. For example, some days I feel super happy. Isn't this great? We have all this extra time. We can play Minecraft together. But you're like really bad. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then some days I feel really angry and I don't really know why. Who left this mug here? Mom, you did! Well, why would I do that? I want to get tacos with my friends! And then some days, I don't know, I just feel really sad. Cause I'm as free as a bird. See, I am all over the place, which I'm sure a lot of people are feeling that way now, but here's the deal. I believe in God. I have faith that God's going to take care of us and it's going to be okay in the end. So if I believe that, why am I feeling all of these things? I mean, if I really believe that God's in control, shouldn't I just be like happy and calm like all of the time? And if I am feeling these things, does that mean I don't actually love God or that I don't have enough faith? Does that mean this could happen? <laughs> Ray, Ray. Hello? God? Hi, how are you? What? You're really disappointed in me because I was sad yesterday. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. No, 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 I do have faith in you, I promise. It's just, you know, sometimes it's hard for... Okay. All right. No, I understand. Okay, I'll try to do better. Okay, I love you too. Bye. <laughs> I do not want that to happen. Okay, people, we need to figure this out. We need to find out what it's okay to feel right now and what isn't. And for that, we need to do a little investigation. I may lose the hat. I, well, let's go. Welcome to my investigation corner, everyone. Also known as Pastor Josh's home office. Don't tell him I'm in here. So I need to figure out what feelings are okay for me to have and which are not. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to look at the one person in history that never did anything wrong. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? Yeah, it's Jesus. Jesus was God, but he was also human and he lived a human life. So I'm going to look through this book at the first four books of the New Testament, or the Gospels. I'm going to look at the life of Jesus and see what kind of things he felt while he was here on earth. Then I'll know what's okay to feel and what isn't. Make sense? Let's do this. Okay, so the first one's gonna be super easy to find, I think. Happy. Jesus was probably happy all of the time. And, oh, here we go. Matthew 19. Let the little children come to me, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. How sweet. And Jesus is hanging out with a bunch of little kids. <laughs> That's so cool. So, right, that was easy. I don't think I'm gonna find much more, but, whoa, hang on. John 11, Jesus wept. What, oh, this is when his friend Lazarus died. He goes to see the family, and he knew he was gonna bring Lazarus back from the dead, but he still cried. He was still really sad. Huh, okay, so we got happy, sad, makes sense. They go together pretty well. But I seriously doubt I'm going to find much more. I mean, I know for a fact I'm not going to find anything about Jesus being angry. <laughs> Can you imagine Jesus being angry? He was Jesus. <laughs> he was like super chill like all of the time. Oh my goodness. Luke 19. Jesus goes to the temple and sees that people are selling animals and exchanging money. So he makes a whip and drives people out and flips tables. Okay, I've been angry, but I've never been flip a table angry. Oh my goodness, what else am I going to find? Oh, whoa. Mark 14, Jesus is, is praying before he goes to the cross, and he sounds really scared, guys. He's asking God to take this all away. Whoa. Okay, 
So, Jesus felt all of these things, and he was perfect. That must mean, don't tell me, none of these, these feelings are bad. In fact, God probably made us with these feelings. Huh. I never thought of it like that before. Wow. Okay, we need to go talk about this. So what did we learn today, friends? <laughs> Look, God created us with emotions. He created us to feel things. So the good news is there really is no right or wrong way to feel, especially now with everything being so weird and different and you're home and you're bored and you miss your friends and you miss school. You just want to go out and do things. You're going to be feeling a lot of different feelings. And remember, you're allowed to. God created you that way. What's important to remember, though, is how you act on those emotions is what counts. So if you're angry, do you take it out on other people and punch your brother in the face? If you're scared, do you get hopeless and start forgetting that God loves you and can take care of you? If you're sad, do you refuse to talk to people and take those emotions and shove it down into the pit of your stomach until you feel like you're about to throw up? Believe it or not, those are not great things to do. We may not be able to control how we feel inside, but we can control our actions and we should. So what are some good things to do with all these emotions and feelings you may be having? Well, the first one is one that I always struggled with growing up and that's talking to people about it. Share with your mom and dad or your brother and your sister or your pet cat how you're feeling and what you're thinking inside. You, they may have some great advice for you or, or you may find out that they feel the exact same way or sometimes just talking about things can really help you feel better. If you don't know what to say, draw a picture or write it down. Another thing you can do is read your Bible. Look at all of these people that had so many different emotions. They were scared. They were angry. They were sad. They were happy. God used them all. And the last one is the most important. Tell God how you're feeling. Even if you're mad, even if you're mad at him and you don't understand why, God can take it because he already knows how you feel inside. And he wants you to have the freedom to talk to him. He wants to be your friend. He, he wants you to talk to him about things. So ask him for help. Ask him for peace. I promise you he'll help you out. So it's a crazy time, right? We're figuring this out together. I'll be back Friday. I have a few things that you guys can do as a family just to, you know, keep talking about things. And in the meantime, keep remembering that how you're feeling is okay. We're going to figure this out. I miss you guys a lot and I'll see you next time.